This movie is based on a true story. No, wait, not based on a true story. It is a true story. You don't believe me? Well then, get out of here. Obligatory fire as f 90s title card, let's go. Rocky, Colt, and Tum Tum are three ninjas. This swaggy theme park is called Mega Mountain. Once we know what happens at high noon, we'll be all set and we can turn this movie off. Sensei, hot off some whitewashed tale about an ancient Japanese sword, introduces his apprentices to a $30 million Nickelodeon ass Mr. Beast ass obstacle course that they've never seen in their lives. They high five and smirk blankly at each other and fire up their prepubescent abs to speedrun it for Twitch. Rocky and Colt get through with ease, looking like they're in front of a green screen. Tom Tom eats some empty carbs before he runs, because the joke is that he's going to be obese when he grows up. They trigger sandbags, flip on bars. Rocky looks like a young Jerry Seinfeld as he deflects balls. Tom Tom runs through a field of literal explosives. Rocky jump kicks some racist signage. And together, the three ninjas climb some jank ass ladders to claim their prize. Yeah! Alright! Way to go! You're awesome! Piece of cake! Speaking of cake, let's eat! Three minutes into this movie and I'm already tired of this food joke. Just kidding. Keep it coming. Grandpa says, You guys think you're hot titties, huh? Psych. You kids are idiots. And he throws some switches and fucking zip lines through fire so he can hit an electrical wire with a metal sword. Now, in the darkness, the kids suck hard. Seinfeld takes those balls. Tum Tum falls into the explosives. And it's all over. Once outside, Grandpa congratulates them. They say, but Grandpa, we lost. But Grandpa, like many terrible modern teachers, hands out gold stars to the idiots anyway. He says, victory lies in defeat. When you're blind, you gotta pull a daredevil and see with your ears instead. Tum Tum eats chocolate and doesn't listen. That night, Tum Tum laments that the summer is ending and they'll have to wait a year to see Grandpa again for more cool ninja training. Rocky says, I'm almost 15 years old. I gotta get a car and chase some ass. Rocky holds a guitar like he's never played one before. Tum Tum says, we gotta learn how to be like our hero, Hulk Hogan. But his brothers say, it's time to grow up. Ninja training is for betas. Grandpa is outside, listening in. And no joke, I think this part made me cry when I was like six years old. Meanwhile, terrorists are cocking assault weapons on a boat. Damn, that was quick. A woman dressed like a cyberpunk herbalist asserts dominance by giving the sign language symbol for Be gone, peasant. Summer has ended, and the kids are home. Rocky is still holding that instrument he's illiterate on. The good 90s mom says there's sandwiches in the fridge. Grandpa tries to rally his chosen ones with this. Once a ninja, always a ninja. <laughs> okay, boomer, replies the thankless youth. Mom consoles him, and he laments that he has finally become entirely useless. Daddy Mustache, who works for the FBI, lays an awkward smooch on a child that is not his own, then a much more enthusiastic one on the wife that is not his own. Grandpa gives Tum Tum a sweet gift, and the boy delivers an invitation. My birthday party tomorrow, we're going to Mega Mountain. You bet the world I will. <laughs> oh, oh my god, check out this technology. This is what a rich family owns in the 90s. <laughs> Tum Tum watches Hulk Hogan, aka Dave Dragon, beat up innocent civilians, and he's incredibly inspired. Then, Mr. Dragon says that their ratings are trash, and the show is cancelled forever. Tum Tum is butthurt all the way to town, but at least they'll see him the next day for his final public appearance at Mega Mountain. 90s housewife says, here boy, food, and he says, I have depression, and leaves. Back on the terrorist boat, the villainous Lothar Zog dishes the plan. You can tell how progressive this film was due to the Rastafari man, cast in the role of a cold-blooded murderer. Zog drives a Ninja Turtle weapon into the map, ruining their visual, and the audience knows they mean business. The following morning, the children awaken to some new neighbors moving in. 90s mom brings them food. Two of the three ninjas are almost slaughtered by a helicopter, piloted by the dorky jean-clad girl next door, Amanda. She accidentally rips it straight through the boy's window, the old-timey equivalent of sliding into some DMs. Over breakfast, cooked by you-know-who, Amanda says her dad is in Hollywood VFX. She's got lots of neat toys. Rocky grabs a yo-yo and takes it for a spin, and Amanda is terrified. No! Don't! <laughs> Rocky and his ponytail almost die in the incident. Everyone laughs their asses off via bad ADR. <laughs> <laughs> 
The kids talk about tomorrow's epic Mega Mountain Odyssey and begrudgingly allow the new girl to join them. Tum Tum goes. The following day, the kids are at the park. Rocky's girlfriend Jennifer is ready to steal him away from his adolescence forever. Then, the terrorists are seen, racing towards the park from the sea. No nose diving their jet skis into the sea because I guess it gives them a speed boost or no, wait, why'd they do that? Back at the park entrance, the dipshit police accost our heroes and pressure Rocky into ditching his entire family. We then get a good old fashioned star wipe. What the, what the hell was that? Underground, the terror squad has officially entered the park. Green gas spurts forth from a pipe to make them seem more evil. They've got night vision, so look out. Lothar hands out douche shades to the whole crew, and Lady Dominatrix gives an entire generation their first boner. Cue up the good times montage of pre-social media theme park madness, back when kids knew how to smile for real. Tum Tum, from the teacups, waves at the camera and breaks the fourth wall, way before Deadpool ever did. He also so drops ice cream on a dude's head, which is hilarious. Zog stumbles upon a Dave Dragon poster and says that he's just an actor, but he could cause problems. Sexy Nun Mama says he needs to die. As the boys watch a leather strap overall wearing Hulk Hogan wallop stuntmen in front of a sold out crowd, the douche brigade literally roofies an entire squad of teenage employees. The bad guys take over the control center and Medusa ditches the habit for leather again. Sweet. They then call up Mr. Jacobson, owner of the park, who is leveraging his billions to get a massage from a bombshell. <laughs> For a kid's movie, the director sure dropped bills on models whenever he could get away with it. Medusa tells Jacobson that she's in charge now, and that if he doesn't pay up $10 million, she's going to speed up the rides until everyone explodes. You are insane! That's what my shrink tells me. Whoa, she's nuts. I'll call the cops! Call the National Guard! Says Jacobson. I'll kill teens right now, says Medusa. Prostitute girlfriend or no, Mr. Jacobson is screwed. Nearby, Dave Dragon finishes his final pathetic exhibition. Not even the crowd thinks this is cool. Tum Tum begs Colt to bring him for an autograph. Backstage, an aging Hulk drops the toupee, and Klaus the terrorist shows up and tranquilizes his elephant ass. Fortunately, the ninjas bear witness to the crime, and the great chase begins. Rocky catches a glimpse of his brothers in danger and immediately dips on his girlfriend for the rest of the movie. Check out these parkour stunts. This chase is really heating up, but Klaus rounds the corner and introduces them to the big dogs. My dogs! <laughs> they couldn't think of a name that had four letters on both hands? Wait a sec, these guys are ninjas. The kids demonstrate superior martial arts skills. Colt is so good that they even start punching each other. Tum Tum, curiously devoid of a chocolate bar, kicks shins. He pretends to be a jacket. The fight carries on into the set of a western play. The crowd, bored out of their minds, goes nuts when the kids show up beating ass. I mean, watch this jump. I don't blame the crowd for buying in. This can't possibly be real. Tum Tum does the jacket thing again, and it's even funnier this time. Big Dog number one knocks over Big Dog number two, and in a fit of rage, they start assaulting the actors. Rocky comes flying over the fence. Colt does a flip. Tum Tum mounts a ninja and claps his cheeks. Literally, Rocky does some shit on a pole I've never seen in my life. Then, Amanda shows up and brings them all to the head office. She's literally the only person on Earth that has noticed there are dudes with assault rifles all over the park. The crew decides to dump water on Dave Dragon to wake him up. What the, what's going on? Says Hulk, clearly making a bid for the Oscar. The kids fill him in on the dire threat, asking him for his help. I want to thank you for saving me. She should let the grown-ups handle it. Says Hulk, clearly driving hard for the Oscar. He then runs off, leaving the children alone in the midst of a terrorist situation. But the kids are resourceful. They head to the top of the park to get a signal on Amanda's walkie. Tum Tum yells that there's a fire, because the adults wouldn't believe them if they said there was a hostage situation. Hilariously, something like 25 units of armed enforcement shows up. The bad guys, clearly prepared for this inevitability, immediately open fire on the whole crowd. The boy's FBI agent father, Sam Douglas, gets the call and he's on the case. He shows up exactly three seconds later. His squad shows him the feed of Lady Medusa making demands. Good lord. 
keep it in your pants, Johnson. The kids use their $2 walkie to interrupt the terrorist broadcast signal, and Sam says good job, son. Somehow, even though an entire militia squad just lit up some bystanders with automatic weapons, the park is still running, and kids are still getting on rides. Medusa cranks the speed on one, and Sam starts to sweat. Medusa's not done yet, and the ride continues to go ham. An engineer shows up, and Sam asks him what happens if the rides go any faster. The engineer says, dude, the f***ing die. Mother of God, says the FBI. Amanda opens up her dad's VFX fish box, and she hands the boys a collection of deadly weapons. They test them all out, mere feet away from one another. Moments later, Tum Tum drops smoke bombs, and the boys get to work. <laughs> He got hit in the nuts. Tum Tum rocks a guy like a thousand times with kicks and punches. Imagine getting trounced this bad by a child. Embarrassing. Seinfeld does this, then delivers a solid punchline. Rocky hits a dude in the face with the razor yo-yo, almost certainly disfiguring him, and Amanda manages to use some bullshit to bring the ride home safely. The heroes then come face to face with Medusa, and they say, Nice face. Yeah, nice face. Nah. In a sad attempt to cover up their burgeoning erections, CJ does a stop, rewind, and print, and Lothar heads out laughing to kill the children. The FBI, meanwhile, is on their iPad 0.5, checking out Medusa's criminal record. Says here that she's a bitch, sir. Three of the terrorists are busy cutting kids in line. Hey, no cutting in line! Hey, you're not the boss of me! <laughs> <laughs> Lothar shows up and says, shut up, you dicks. He gives them the picture of the kids and makes them put on their Yeezy shades to maintain cover. Then Lothar takes a kid's ice cream, which is unironically the funniest shot in the whole movie. He's being stalked by a washed up actor in skin tight overalls, who then spots a Bugs Bunny ripoff and makes a mental note for sexy time with the wife. Elsewhere, Amanda's got a plan. She says, if you can jack me into the computer, I can use my computer to do computer stuff and shut down their whole computer. The Three Stooges spot the Three Ninjas, and another epic chase is underway. A big bunny waves at a security camera, and an extra from Duck Dynasty goes to see what's up. He gets his ass served, and wow, it's Dave Dragon. He makes his way into the mainframe, and this insane fight scene takes place. Medusa, really committing to the bit, busts a busts out a busts bust busts out a whip and ties Blondie up. She makes an aggressively sexual joke, and then CJ asks for an autograph. Let's cut back to the chase. You couldn't hit an elf in the butt with a bazooka. <laughs> Trust me. That joke killed with kids who didn't know how to tie their shoes yet. Colt squirts his friend with water, and Tum Tum whips darts at Nikki Six. Shortly afterwards, Tum Tum kicks the big man in his tiny penis, and the elder brothers trap the other two on a roller coaster. Lothar realizes it's time to get this done right, and Amanda begins an absolutely epic hacking sequence. Dang, I'm good. Outside the barricade, the FBI briefs the SWAT team on how this is all gonna shake out. In a clear cut moment of Oscar bait, a confident Hulk says, you're wasting your time, spinning your wheels, swimming in circles, going nowhere fast. Huh. Inspired. The bad guys throw a switch, and the entire SWAT team gets electrocuted. You're just wasting your time, spinning your wheels, swimming in circles, going nowhere fast. No, 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 that's my monologue. Not all is lost, though, as Amanda is hacking her brains out. CJ simply can't keep up, so Medusa shoves him out of the way because she knows how to hack faster. And bam, this roller coaster is stuck upside down. Let's get 20 angles on that epic moment, Jim. Hulk flips out like Thanos just snapped, but Medusa cold cocks his dumb ass. It's all over, says the FBI. In a scene that would later inspire Game of Thrones, Dave Dragon is Dave dragged out into a crowded circle, a tiny child realizes that wrestling is fake and is extremely disappointed in humanity as a whole. The three amigos manage to locate Rocky's girlfriend and they kidnap her for leverage. Buzz makes a stoic attempt to get her back. Hey, butthead! Maybe I'm her new boyfriend! Ah, oh, that's okay, buddy. When the credits roll, no one will remember you. The kids meet up with Amanda, and together they hack hard, but Jennifer is being tied to a roller coaster track. Jokes aside, this is 
dark as hell. At the bank, Mr. Jacobson, bulldog scowl on full display, has retrieved the 10 milli from the bank. Hulk Hogan sits amidst a sea of children, staring right down the barrel of the camera, all completely disgusted with his performance. He decides, what the hell, I'm getting fired tomorrow anyway. May as well grab some nunchucks and scale this rickety tower. This causes a bunch of men to fire their machine guns at him, and thus at the entire crowd of innocents. But it works out, and he frees them all. Rocky throws him props. This is what a 45-year-old man looks like when he's validated by the youth. Rocky almost saves his crush, but then Lothar starts swinging a f***ing sword at him. Oh, he almost cuts his dick. <laughs> But Rocky disarms him and flatlines his ass. The fight continues up onto the tracks and subsequently onto the top of the loop itself. They grab each other, then remember they're trying to kill each other. Then Robbie, uh, I mean Rocky kneecaps him with the yo-yo and he falls to his death. Just kidding, he does the awning to boxes thing that was everywhere in the 90s. The SWAT team finally does something and... <laughs> Medusa's a sore loser, so she lets the roller coaster go. Rocky unties Jennifer just in the nick of time. Then the two pause stupidly to look at their inbound death before they jump. Even though the terrorists have effectively lost, no one told Mr. Jacobson, who's sobbing over his soon-to-be-lost Andrew Jackson's. He drops sack, and the Tweedle Twats collect. But Amanda demos her FPV drone skills and dices a bag mid-fall. The bills go everywhere, and the entire world becomes enormously predictably greedy. How have these people not been evacuated yet? Medusa is livid, so she decides she's going to snuff out Amanda's life. The boys chase, and Dave Dragon joins forces with them. <laughs> Watch them all run together. It's glorious. Medusa outlines her plans for Amanda. I'll make you my personal slave. And then Hulk busts chains with a move he learned from Street Sharks. He drops 30 feet into the terrorist den and goes absolutely ass out. Remember, this is before the days of John Wick, so this choreography is next gen. Then he gets tased, and the children are on the front lines once again. Medusa handcuffs Amanda to a railing as the boys continue to break faces left, right, and center. Rocky even rides a ninja like a stallion, then makes another ninja sit on that ninja's face. It's true magic. Tum Tum rocks another guy's world, then does this wild spin kick. <laughs> Not even that guy has a chance against the Tum. Rocky yells into a pipe, and this ninja sits dick first onto a screw. <laughs> the choreography goes on for a good 10 minutes. It's why people bought the tickets after all. Tum Tum is surprisingly legit. But then, Medusa busts out the callback to the Mr. Beast challenge and shoots out all the lights. The bad guys have night goggles, but the boys aren't so lucky. They throw hapless haymakers at absolutely nothing, while Medusa rigs a bomb to send Amanda straight to hell. Rocky swings hard, almost falls off a cliff, and panics. When I was a kid, this part triggered my very first anxiety attack. But then, Rocky remembers that Grandpa said to see with his ears. So, so he opens his eyes wide. Then his bros pull him up, and together they all look at Tum Tum's watch in the pitch black. Then they go full daredevil. Good thing the bad guys don't have guns. They do, however, have swords, but fortunately, they do not swing them. The three ninjas wild out in slow mo, beat some ass, and then they go through a stupid bomb sequence that's really not worth detailing. Amanda says, You guys should save yourselves. In an entirely unconvincing way. So the boys grab oxygen tanks, duct tape the bomb bomb to it, and jerry-rig a jetpack or some shit. Out at sea, Medusa is clambering up onto her getaway ship with what remains of Jacobson's dough. The boys start hitting the bomb with a hammer. <laughs> then Dave Dragon shows up and hits the bomb with a wrench. It skedaddles through the tunnel, out into the ocean, straight at the boat, and straight up melts everyone on board. Ah, oh, never mind, they swam to shore. Medusa does her Baywatch thing, then a bunch of chads level pistols at her face. Somehow it's nighttime now, and the kids are on the news. Their FBI dad finally finds them, just as they tell the news anchor that Dave Dragon is the real hero. Dave Dragon gladly takes all the credit, and the anchor says she wants to chortle his bacon. In the end, the boys tell Grandpa that they're down for more ninja stuff, even though this film franchise got fully cancelled after this movie came out. So, where are the actors now? Amanda quit the industry, likely thanks to this trash movie. But according to the fandom, she's now the best... 
best hairstylist in Santa Clarita. Rocky kept on acting. You may know him from the hit 2012 film, Garbage. Tum Tum now teaches real karate. He grew up to look exactly like Colt. And Colt grew up to literally become Jerry Seinfeld. If you guys enjoyed this video, stick that like button straight up my ass. Sub if you're ready for more, and comment below if you want to say hello. There's a link to my gaming channel in the description as well. See you next time. He got hit in the nuts. <laughs>